Mary's possibly going on a rampage of cleaning house, and she still has control over the microchips in her vicinity. We need to disable them from her security system, if we don't want all the help to die. All right. There's a chance, do you? Them fighting back, wising up against their oppressors or some shite. Not likely. Ain't desperate enough, right? Mike. enough to know when it's best to keep your mouth shut. Yeah. Done. Take a look at this. chips are disabled. Mary has sealed herself in her office downstairs, but the mainframe will repower the elevator. Oh, and guards are on the lookout, so do try to survive. Well, that's just great.
you need to stay near the mainframe long enough so I can reactivate the lift to Mary's office. Bloody chips don't work. I'm in my office. Come exterminate the vermin. I'm wide open here. Peter's down. Get your useless asses down here and end these cockroaches. No. Oh. and you can access Mary's office now. And Inspector Lau is on channel. None too happy, I'm afraid. Just sec, what the hell are you doing over there? We had a deal. We do this my way. That's why we gathered all that proof. I have the paperwork we need. Is your paperwork going to stop her killing her slaves? The woman's a mad dog, Lau. We don't have time to fucking discuss this again. Get in there and stop her from doing anything drastic. I'm on my way. Come on then, I don't need no fucking microchip to gut you filthy bastards! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dead sick is it? At least your timing's good. Police are coming to take you in. Oh, I am counting on it, love. Everyone freeze! Back away from her. Mary Kelly, you're under arrest. Take me in, Inspector. I'll throw myself on the mercy of the bleeding court. But don't plan on me staying around very long. You lot! I gave you purpose when this city spit you out! We'll be seeing each other again very soon. Stop! You don't think she's gonna let you scum take her white whale? Who are you protecting? The system or the people? Promise us. Promise us. She won't go free. Go. I'll take care of this. Well, DedSec, you got your wish. Mary won't be walking away from this or anything else. I wanted to do this the right way, but after everything I've seen, I... Uh, I guess I couldn't let her live. She had it coming, Lau. And it's all she deserved. For the lives she destroyed. For Angel. You did the right thing. Mary Kelly was too well connected for prison to have stuck. This wasn't by the book. 
but it was for the best. I don't know. That was some version of justice, but not mine. At least, I didn't think it was when we started all of this. Well, the Queen may be dead, but there are plenty of Tan Kelly peons willing to take up the mantle. You're right about that, Bagley. I will keep my ear to the ground. I hear about more Clan Kelly shenanigans, you'll be the first to know. You're good partners, DedSec. Let's keep it going. that Nigel Cass is planning to unveil some new nasty projects at a press conference. And why would I like that? Albion's always got some sort of nasty plan going. Because Hamish has convinced his Albion contact to talk to us. Apparently it took some doing since Radu's a squirrely sort. He's been especially agitated lately. But he has insider information we could use. The meetings at the Drowning Post. Wouldn't mind a drink while we plan how to give Nigel bloody Cass a black eye. Tech needs you on something. Nope, Begley. I'm getting drunk now. Tell you what, your next tab's on the resistance, assuming you live through this. Ooh, it's a deal. This is the place. Where's our informant? Bad news from Hamish. His contact is running late. May as well make yourself comfortable. Impairing our frontal lobe again, are we? One drink will barely touch me, Bagley. The attack occurred just as Albion CEO Nigel Cass was announcing a new security... Turn up the telly, mate! Our cameras captured video of the attack, which some viewers may find disturbing. Without their tireless work, we couldn't have rolled out these checkpoints. Watch out! 43C. Engage contact right. Aim fire! Aim fire! Government officials have yet to issue a statement, but Cass had this to say. An attack on me and my men is one thing. We're trained to handle these monsters. But I will not abide civilian casualties. This city deserves peace. And I promise you, London, we carry on as we are. These attacks will continue. But we don't need to live like this. Scared to leave our homes. Criminals. Terrorists like these. Could be stopped before they even start. And I have a plan to do just that. Your police and politicians may have stopped fighting for you. But I will never stop. Thank you. This is what I'm talking about. Cass ought to be in charge of things. The hell he should. He's just another greedy bastard. Nigel Cass is the only one who gives a fuck about this city. Twat! Oi, break it up. Keep it civil. Jesus fucking Christ. Fucking hell. Tell me you lot met with my contact and he had nothing to do with this. Your man never showed up, Hamish. But come on, this was a show. It has Cass written all over it. Between the cameras and his speech, it was all too perfectly placed. We need to investigate the attack site. No, no, you don't get it, fam. Radu's been seriously unbalanced lately. Talking all sorts of rubbish about someone having to stop Cass, no matter the cost. Timing's too pat. Cass announces this new security initiative and then he's attacked in public. No way. Hope you're right. And it's not Radu gone off the deep end. This is the site where Nigel Cass was attacked. But, surprise, surprise, his personal goon squad had already scrubbed the area for evidence. Why cover your tracks if you have nothing to hide? Looks like the work of the guilty, if you ask me. Yes, if you search for clues, I may be able to reconstruct the attack in augmented reality. You're a very useful machine, Bugley. 
There is a CTOS data relay nearby. That will have the data I need. I'm on it. What's that? Okay. This is a restricted area. Right now. Get. Move along. Can I be of service? All right. Get up. Move along. should do it. Go back to the location of the incident to view the reconstruction. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. This does look like pro-terrorism, in the sense that it's both professional and in favor of terrorism. Okay. So he had access to military-grade devices. Unfortunately, that doesn't narrow it down enough. I'll have a look. Searching facial recognition databases, and here he is, Radu Florin, an Albion employee in good standing, until he tried to drive an exploding truck into his boss. Radu? Oh, shit. Fam, that's the bloke put me on the Themis. My contact inside Albion. So Cass didn't orchestrate this attack to consolidate his power. It was an actual attempt to kill him. What the fuck did he find to make him desperate enough to do this? Roll it, Bugs. Look at that. Albion trucks with black boxes on the undercarriage, just like aeroplanes. I can track down the black box, which should lead us to the truck's current location. Run the truck's plates too. Of course. I'll also monitor Albion communications and a thousand other little things you would appreciate. Looks like a disgruntled employee situation. Cass did something to seriously piss this guy off. That might be a good thing. We can exploit any sort of dissension in the Albion ranks. But let's make sure we're right. We need a better look at that truck. According to Albion radio chatter, they've moved the truck to the Tone bombing site. And here's something even stranger. They've moved Radu Florin's body along with it. The Tone site? Really? Albion has been coordinating recovery efforts at the site, which is rather vague. It's a dumping ground, isn't it? For problems they like to see disappear. If we find the truck, we find Radu. Agree. Get out of here. 
on them. Prepare yourself. Shots fired. Ah! Fuck me. Get Where are ah! There's no way out. This is the truck used in the Finsbury attack. I have a VIN and plate match. The dash cam is a shambles, but the local cameras picked up some audio. Worth a listen. Oh, Jesus. He's pretty burnt up. Happens when your truck explodes. Fuck. I used to see him around R&D. Did you know him? Hell no. But even if I did, I wouldn't fucking talk about it. Know what I mean? I'm detecting several optics nearby with no life signs connected. That's where we should look for the driver's body. I'm on it. The rate of decomposition on this body is inconsistent with the time of death of our attacker. It's not him. Yes, from the state of decay, I'd say this person died, oh, right around the tone bombing. So that's one mystery solved. This corpse is promising. Fresh and badly burned. There's a lump of damaged metal in his noggin that might once have been an optic. Damaged? I thought you'd see that as a challenge, Bagley. I'm pulling everything down from his cloud storage now. I recommend escaping from the premises. Ah. I understand. Albion is using this place as dumping ground for bodies. If you consider that new bodies are constantly being unearthed from the tone wreckage, they can kill anyone they want and get away with it. I've decrypted an audio file recovered from the attacker's body. Shall I play it? Do your thing, Bagley. He's launched them, Mum. They're waiting up there, and no one knows. People think he'll keep them safe, but that's not what he wants. He wants control. He sent them up there to watch us. And worse... He called them Justice, Themis, Drones. What a cruel joke. The project was dead, but he has the team re-engineering an upgrade that'll activate a systemic reboot, and you always hated it when I used my big up words. I, I can't let it happen. And without him, it doesn't. Mom. I'm about to do something, something awful, or at least people will say it's awful. If they know what I know, maybe they'd think better of me, less of a monster. But I'm trying to stop a monster, Mom. I am. If you had the chance to stop something terrible from happening by, by killing someone, wouldn't you do it? Something truly horrible. I'm sorry. I love you. Jesus fuck. Albion had their Themis drones deployed in London airspace this entire time. We've been one system upgrade away from Arma fucking Geddon. Might take months, but Cass could get the project back on its legs. Unless we destroy the drones themselves. Bats boy. The Themis data we wiped at Titus. Any chance you remember enough to retro-engineer a more suitable upgrade? I'll do you one better. I can code a virus from the data itself. Bagley, 
Why did you keep a copy of the project data? That's dangerous stuff. I asked him to. No sense in just flushing data. Never know what might come in handy or what you might learn. So, how do we use it to infect the drones? Albion's got a primary communications hub at Tower Bridge. Upload the virus there, fam, and all the drones get a dose. Let's do it. Someone else sloughed off work, and now it's your turn. Yes, fine. This is Albion's primary communications hub, but there's more security here than there is around the Royal Meth Stash. You should start by destroying their encryptors. If your hacking skills are up to snuff, dominating a combat drone or two could help. All right.
Done this one? Let's keep going. For the encryptors, you can now upload the virus using the central antenna. All right. Incoming drones. It can't be famous drones, can it? No, no, no. These aren't the algorithmically driven assassin drones. They're just the normal drones that also kill you. is now taking an Albion mandated timeout. You're up. I suppose it's on me to clean up their mess then.
go. I'm reading incoming drones. They're missed drones? No, no, no. These aren't the algorithmically driven assassin drones. They're just the normal drones that also kill you. Lights are lovely. I suggest you leave before someone gets the bright idea to turn yours off. Cass's plan to use drones driven by some social algorithm to dispense justice has backfired. Do you think he's actually read any of those Greek myths he's named his drones after? What's to stop the next plan, and the one after that? Cass is the real problem here. We have to figure out a way to stop him. How? He has an army of war criminals and a private fleet of killer drones. Oh, not to mention the undying support of every bootlicker in Britain. If we go to war with him, we're dead and we'll be handing him the propaganda victory of the century on our way to the morgue. So we take the people's support away, fam? Bags and me have some thoughts on what we gotta do. You lot better come in for a briefing.
Albion confirms that the explosions seen in the skies over London were indeed an Albion drone project that was sabotaged by the DedSec insurgency. In an exclusive interview with GBB Radio 1, Albion founder and CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. Truth is, the supposed freedom fighters of DedSec have made London less free. That drone project was meant to replace Albion boots on the ground, let the city get back to normal, but now... I can't in good conscience stand my people down. That's not how I lead. Cass went on to implore listeners to treat any suspected DedSec operatives as terrorists and to immediately report them to Albion. The mendacious prick. We stop him from implementing a genuine reign of terror and now here he is playing victim for the cameras. And it's working. Sorry, that was too cheerful. Sadly, it's working. Too sad? It's what he does. Scares the shit out of people, then swoops in and plays the hero. We've got to show them what he really is. So that's his weakness, his image. If we shatter that, he falls apart. As it happens, we have an idea about that. Bagley, your show. This is Claire Waters, political dissident and podcaster, reported missing after teasing a salacious upcoming episode. Sadly, it never aired. So all we have is this. On the next episode of Buccaneer Radio, I'm chatting with someone from deep inside Nigel Cass's inner circle. He's promised me something that will expose Cass as the tyrant I know he is. This is going to blow the roof right off White Tower. See you next week, pirates. Nigel would have spun that interview if it was spinnable. If he went off the waters for it, that tape's a smoking gun. We've got to have it. Claire was known to broadcast out of Freight One. You should begin searching there. Claire Waters appears to be an equal opportunity muckslinger. Albion is her target of choice, but she's railed against tech genius Sky Larson, SIRS, and Plan Kelly. Opinionated, isn't she? I suspect her and DedSec could have quite the productive relationship. She's been digging in Cass's shit for a while. If what she has isn't enough to squeeze his bollocks in a vice, then maybe she'll join you lot and help find something. Claire used to broadcast from somewhere around here. That's all I've got, I'm afraid. Bloody analog technology. If we can find her, I'm sure everyone she's antagonized can too. Let's make haste. Someone got to her. What the hell did she do to deserve that? I'd love to listen to you moan all day, but perhaps investigating her murder would be a better use of our time. I will not be lectured on emotions by a robot. I'm going to investigate and fume at the same time, and I expect you to damn well tolerate it. Look at that. It's like if Clan Kelly took out bus stop adverts. Claire did release several podcasts critical of Clan Kelly, which you'd think they'd be used to by now. They're a criminal gang. They shouldn't expect flowers and thank you notes. Real criminals don't leave calling cards. Something's off. These footprints tell you anything? 
Several individuals. Boots rather than shoes. One with a tread unique to a certain paramilitary supplier. I think it's from their autumn collection. Check their customers' bags. I bet you'll find Albion. Claire's tablet. The killers were sloppy. Scan it, bags. Tablet unlocked. Claire seems to have logged conversations on it. OK, you've agreed to speak on the record. You are an intelligence technician at Albion and work closely with Nigel Cass, correct, Mr...? Just you. I can't believe I'm doing this. If they were to find out. I know. Only have to step outside to see how Albion treats people. What do you have for us? Proof that... <laughs> Proof that Nigel Cass was complicit in the bombings. What? But that's... Here. Transfer it to this secure storage drive. How solid is this information? It's a recording of him talking to some... <laughs> Give security! Drop your weapon! <laughs> you can't do this! Gather all our equipment and get it to the carousel. No, take that wall. Then get rid of this body. She can stay here. <laughs> Gang vengeance is an horrible crime, ain't it? Fuck me. Cass sent a squad of his goons for Claire and that other bloke. That recording's got to be the real deal. Bastard knew about the bombings. Albion must have Claire's equipment then, along with the audio file evidence. This is exactly what we need to bury Cass for good. He's going to pay for what he did to Claire, just like he'll pay for what he did to London. Now, the killer mentioned Carousel. That's Carousel Plaza, right? Albion's propaganda library? Sounds like as good a place as any to start looking. The stolen evidence is here somewhere. Watch out, Albion's security is thicker than whoever cleaned up that crime scene. There's also a lot of them around. Good, because after Freight 1, I've got some aggression to work out. Yes, well, let's focus on finding Claire's equipment, shall we? Now, where did you go off to? Drone, begin search. Drone, initiate perimeter search. I'm smarter than that. Shotgun specialist in the field.
Time to run. Control, we are pursuing the target. You found Claire's equipment, including her secure storage drive, which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with, so the audio evidence is probably still intact. Well, I know you're listening. Let's talk. We told you the Prime Minister would turn you down. Brits love to see private military contractors on foreign streets, but not their own. He's a fool! This whole city, this whole country's collapsing. The military's held together with duct tape. Police are running scared. Someone has to save the people, Nigel. Someone strong. <laughs> they do. And I've already worked it out. The ideal targets are the Toan Conference, Parliament, and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tech teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable. It cannot trace back to me. You're forgetting something. And I'll get you access to filament, as agreed. Now go away. Now scarper or they'll kill you for sure.
Keith has a voice that makes you want to snap his smug bollocks in a pencil case, doesn't he? And Zero Day knew just which strings to pull to get what they wanted, didn't they? Filament. And Cass was willing to trade it for the keys to the city. Fuck. Don't know, fam. I think I always thought there was a chance for him to... Fuck! To be the man you thought he was. Sorry, Hamish. If that man ever existed, he's gone now. We have to get this information out there. To the people. You're right. When you lot get the chance, come to Piccadilly Circus. Been working with bags on something. And this proof is just the token we needed.